Here in Western New York, remembering the dream took many forms. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Morse has the story. We still have a long way to go. There are still many issues that we need to work on. The spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was alive this morning at an annual scholarship breakfast in Buffalo. The conversation surrounding how far the nation has come, but touching on racial issues that continue to exist. One foremost that has been in the news uh, uh, constantly is the whole issue of our relationship, especially our young people, with the police. There's always room for improvement. Not everyone is on board. However, we can't agree to disagree and still be one unit. Just a few miles away, King's message of service to others was put into action. It perpetuates his legacy and his teachings that, you know, we all can be great because we all can serve. AmeriCorps volunteers worked on this Habitat for Humanity house on Buffalo's west side. Painting and priming. Prepping it for a family in need in King's memory. He talked a lot about service and how you can be great by serving others. And we're going to feel good about giving this house to a family and the kids can have a home to go to at night. Being a good Samaritan and serving your community, doing something to improve the well-being of others. And as they worked, the volunteers thought of King's message, one that resonates here at home years later. It was so much of an impact and so much has changed over the years just because of that one movement. And that Habitat for Humanity home will be given to a family in need once it's completed. Those AmeriCorps volunteers tell me they help work on the house during National Days of Service like today. In the studio, Katie Morse, 7 Eyewitness News.